going to be about how to make Toll House Nestle Ultimate Pecan Turtle Delight Cookies. So you get the package like this, and you open it and you, oops, it comes in the package like this. There's lots of caramel and food and everything. Now this will come in 24, or actually 12 big cookies. And they're cut in squares. I'm gonna make them on plate today because a plate can go in the oven. Now that's just something I recently discovered. I just took it to my oven and I don't have any cooking um, cookie sheet or anything. I only have plates. Okay, so I'm just breaking the squares off like this and I'm just gonna put them on a plate like that. Just giving them, they're gonna make big cookies. And then we're gonna in between each one so that they don't melt together. So I'm using plates, and that's what the plates are gonna look like in the oven. Now we're gonna let it cook for 20 minutes, and it should be great. That is what the cookies look like when they come out. Mmm, delicious.
today I'm gonna make some chicken and I'm gonna make a puff pastry or uh, crescent roll with chicken in the middle of it. We're gonna chop the onion. I'm gonna make sections into it like this. And then I'm gonna go the other direction. Just gets the onion really small. Okay, well I like to chop my onion once I get it cut like that with uh, kitchen shears. That makes it easier to get into small pieces. Enough onion. I'm just gonna put my onion away. Later, babe. I'm just gonna deglaze my skillet. Okay. And I'm gonna add the onion now. gonna wait for this to cook down and then we're gonna kind of come back. Actually I'm gonna add some bell pepper to this. This is my red bell pepper. Looks like a giant chili. It's just a regular bell. It's a small red bell pepper. I'm gonna use my kitchen shears to, to chop that up. You can chop it on the chopping block or on a plate. I'm doing it on a plate because I'm using the kitchen shears instead of a knife. But you know, just have you can just chop it up into small pieces. The kitchen shears with the scissors. It's my red bell pepper. And we'll be back after the chicken is done cooking. Here's what it looks like in the pot. All the red bell pepper and the onions. And the, the deglazed from the chicken on the bottom. Now I'm just going to cook the onions until they're caramel. Um, actually, I started the chicken with some spray olive oil. Some spray olive oil is going to go right back on the top of it to help my onions and my bell peppers um, with the olive oil, the cooking process. And um, we got some marjoram, just a couple of teaspoons of it in the palm of your hand. Just measure it with your eye. You can't really put too much. And that goes in there. And um, some seasonal or some basic ionized salt in the palm of your hand and a little bit outside. And uh, I've got some, uh, some seasonal. So that's just going to go on there. So here's what it looks like in the pot. Now just let that cook down until the chicken is coming off the bone a little bit because I actually, here we are again. 
I added some Hunt's marinara sauce to the chicken mixture, and I also added some green peas. Now, it's a bit soupier. This would be great if I was making rice, but I'm not. Okay, here's the type of marinara sauce. It's four cheese marinara. Okay, I already busted open my uh, crescent rolls yesterday. So now I'm just going to take them out. I'm going to try it. They come in sheets, come out cut in little square, um, in squares like this. And then, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is just mash them together. See? So that they make one big stromboli out of this. One big one. This, this is our ideal, actually. These are ideal because they are all coming out as triangles. You see? This is how they're supposed to be. And then you're supposed to take them and fold them over like that side. But we're not doing that. We're just going to use this as the dough. Okay, so I'm going to take them and fold them over and smoosh them together so that it makes a big rectangle like that. Now we're going to take our chicken and bell peppers and onions and green peas and marinara sauce. I'm going to try and scoop out all the chicken that I can possibly get my hands on and put it in the middle. Okay, so we're just mostly selecting out chicken for me. It's the chicken. Okay, um, this is not all going to fit in the stromboli, uh, not all of it. chicken. Mm. Also, I have some provolone cheese. What I really should have done is put the provolone cheese on the bottom, but I didn't. Okay, then also we have some pepperoni. Pepperonis. I'm going to take the pepperonis and I'm going to divide them into little pieces like that. And I'm just going to put them, chop them up with my kitchen scissors over the top of the cheese. Chopping it up over my provolone cheese and my chicken. Okay. Okay, now that it's all chopped up, now I'm going to try and fold it over like this as much as I can. Now it doesn't matter what formation it is. It can be cute, it can not be cute. Over, try and contain all of the uh, the food. This is how the the, the stromboli. Yeah. Okay, well, you got some pepperoni and some cheese coming out of the top of it, which is okay. Okay, now this is going to go into the oven until it turns golden brown on top. I'm going to put it in the oven now. 
and we're gonna wait and we're gonna come back. This is what I decided to do with the leftover chicken and marinara mixture. I'm gonna put some pinay regate. So, some pinay. I'm just going to add it to the sauce and a little bit of water. Add a little bit of water and uh, cook, it, cook it down. So, we're going to have pinay and we're going to have uh, the stromboli. Okay, so add some more water and put it back on the This is a, the pinay, the pepperoni, the green peas. And the chicken with the marinara sauce added to it. Now it's done. I'm just gonna plate it up. what the other dish looks like in the oven. It's done. Go ahead and pull it out. That is our pina. And that is our crescent rolls stromboli with our provolone and our pepperoni on top. And you can see all the cheese and the pepperoni spilling out. And remember, it's got all that chicken on the bottom. This looks like. Now, I'm just going to cut it as you have and try and eat it. Mmm, that's the final product there. I would cut that in half and, and eat it, or you could just pick it up when it cools off. Let it cool for a little bit and then pick it up and eat it, or you can cut it in half and eat it. So get a tight shot of that. See all that diced pepperoni on top and the provolone cheese? Mmm, it's just like a pizza, but it also contains uh, some chicken. There. Making the ziti pasta today. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like to use my tomato sauce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Making the ziti pasta today. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like to eat vegetarian food. Whoa, 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 whoa. The reason is cause cholesterol is bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. The reason is because of bladder attacks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Also diabetes and heart disease. Whoa, 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 whoa. Follow the recipe, you'll be good. Whoa, 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 whoa,
CT regression. Okay, we're just gonna fill a pot with water. I'm gonna add the ZT. ZT. About half, about a cup of ZT. I'm just gonna add the rest of the box. And the box contains, okay, the serving size is three quarters of a cup. So I'm, we're gonna put one cup. We're just going to bring that to a boil. When we're done cooking that, we're going to add some tomato sauce, some ragu. Some all-purpose seasoning, complete all-purpose seasoning. And some Parmesan cheese. And then when our food is almost done, we're going to chop up, well actually right now, this is the bell pepper. I'm just going to chop up the bell pepper right now using kitchen, kitchen scissors. Now by the time the pasta is done boiling, the bell pepper and everything will be done. And then at the last minute, we're going to add some broccoli. So you can use these kitchen scissors to cut anything up. This is a small bell pepper. It would be about a quarter of a cup of bell pepper. While that's boiling, I'm just going to have a sip of my red Kool-Aid. Mm. <clears throat> just waiting for this to boil. This is what the ZT look like with the red bell pepper in them. Now I'm just going to add some seasoning. This is the all purpose seasoning. Here's the finished product. Now I'm just going to add some. That's the ragu chunky seven urban tomatoes. Now I'm just going to add some shredded Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Mmm. 
that's the finished product. Mmm, delicious. Okay, my dumbbells. I'm just gonna do some regular squats with my dumbbells in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm just going to do some regular curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm just going to put my hands over my head like this and do curls this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to show you a belly crunch routine and a basic workout that you can do while you're cooking dinner. Today we're going to make both white and red clam chowder and it's good because it's high in uh, iron, fiber, and protein. Um, okay, so these are my dumbbells. They're only two pounds. I'm going to start now. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now these are two pound dumbbells. Now the twisting of the waist is something that belly dancers do a lot. So we're going to try and do that while we're doing our butterfly curl. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Believe it or not, just twisting your waist like this and sucking your stomach in and holding dumbbells is a is an ab workout. Okay. Um, 
Now I'm going to do some ab. Now I'm going to do some ab crunches using a bouncing ball. This is about. This is actually the fitness ball. It's inflated. I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to put it up against the wall, and I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to hold my dumbbells, and I'm going to try and lean forward. Put the dumbbells in between my legs like this, and then just lean, lean back and lean forward, and that's a crunch. One. Tucking my stomach in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what I did just did was create resistance um, by sitting down and leaning forward. Also, squeeze your stomach muscles as tight as you can. Now, it's more comfortable on a ball because the ball absorbs all of the shock waves that come when you lean forward and lean back. So it's easier if you just sit on the fitness ball and just lean forward and lean back. Plant both your feet on the floor and lean forward and lean back as many times as you can, at least 10 times. By the time you're done doing all this, your clam chowder dinner will be done and it'll be fortified with nutrients that will help you. Also, just twisting your waist like this, it's really fun when you have one of these belly dance tops on, but just twisting your waist like this is a great way to burn calories. Okay, so just try just doing this all day. This is a, this is a basic belly dance move. Pull both your hands out like this and twist your Twist your stomach, your torso forward. First you add the rice to the pot Oreo. Ooh, you add the sesame and the marjoram. Ooh, you put it in the skillet till it's nice and hot. Ooh, you cook the raw rice grains until they're a little bit brown. Ooh, you add the onion and the pepper. Ooh, you stir it all up in the hot oil. Ooh, then you add your water and your chicken broth. Ooh, then you let it cook down with some seasoning and salt. Ooh, add your soy sauce and a little dash. Ooh, the rice will be all done and it will cook real fast. Ooh, whoa, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. You add your egg whites, they're high in protein. Ooh, egg white don't contain any cholesterol. Ooh, but the egg yolks contain so much cholesterol. Ooh, that okay, we're gonna use the two pound dumbbells again. And here is the fitness ball. So you just sit on top of the fitness ball. Here's the here's my fitness ball, and I sit on top of it, it's up against the wall, and I've got my two pound dumbbells. And I'm just going to reach straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I'm just gonna reach straight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, is the fitness ball I'm sitting on top of? I'm just gonna lean forward with the two dumbbells in my hand 
and putting them between my legs and using them for balance 10 times. One, lean all the way forward, two, all the way to the floor, three, because now we're working our abs, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, when you lean all the way forward, you can feel it pulling on your stomach. So it is stretching your stomach muscles. And that is the, if you do that every single day, if, right while your dinner is cooking, you'll be able to stay in shape. Oh, I love the way you make me feel tonight. I like to watch the sun rise in your eyes. Oh, no, I can't, no, I can't deny it. I love the way you make me feel. The feeling is so real. Oh, I love to watch the sun rise in your eyes. I love the way you make me feel. The feeling is so real. I love the way you make me feel tonight. I like to watch the sun rise in your eyes. Oh, no, I can't, oh, no, I can't deny it. I love the way you make me feel. The feeling is so real. Oh, I love to watch the sun rise in your eyes. I love the way you make me feel. The feeling is so real. I love the way you make me feel tonight. I like to watch the sun rise in your eyes. Oh, no, I can't, oh, no, I can't deny it. I love the way you make me feel. The feeling is so real. Oh, I love to watch the sun rise in your eyes. I love the way you make me feel. The feeling is so real. Hi, I'm going to show you a belly crunch routine and a basic workout that you can do while you're cooking dinner. Today we're going to make both white and red clam chowder and it's good because it's high in uh, iron, fiber, and protein. Um, okay, so these are my dumbbells. They're only two pounds. I'm going to start now. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now these are two pound dumbbells. Now the twisting of the waist is something that belly dancers do a lot. So we're going to try and do that while we're doing our butterfly curl. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Believe it or not, just twisting your waist like this and sucking your stomach in and holding dumbbells is a, is an ab workout. Okay. Um. Now I'm going to do some ab. Now I'm going to do some ab crunches using a bouncing ball. This is about this is actually the fitness ball. It's inflated. I'm gonna sit on it. I'm gonna put it up against the wall, and I'm gonna sit on it. I'm gonna hold my dumbbells, and I'm gonna try and lean forward. Put the dumbbells in between my legs like this, and then just lean, lean back and lean forward, and that's a crunch. One, tucking my stomach in. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what I did just did was create resistance um, by sitting down and leaning forward. Also, squeeze your stomach muscles as tight as you can. Now, it's more comfortable on a ball because the ball absorbs all of the shock waves that come when you lean forward and lean back. So it's easier if you just sit on the fitness ball and just lean forward and lean back. Plant both your feet on the floor. 
and lean forward and lean back as many times as you can, at least 10 times. By the time you're done doing all this, your clam chowder dinner will be done. And it'll be fortified with nutrients that will help you. Also, just twisting your waist like this, it's really fun when you have one of these belly dance tops on. But just twisting your waist like this is a great way to burn calories. Okay, so just try just doing this all day. This is a this is a basic belly dance move. Put both your hands out like this and twist your twist your stomach, your torso.